you. Is it the, is it because I'm in and out of? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not blurring anymore. <laughs> she, she's been on a high since EMP. So uh, I was going to say, is it a lack of sleep? That too. <laughs> I want you to know if there's any way you can get to California or Philadelphia or Atlanta. Atlanta, go. It is so awesome. Misty had a great, big, amazing, amazing um, um, uh, announcement that I don't know if you know or not. She's never done an EMP before this year. She showed 10 exclusive, fantastic pieces. You can own and you can buy as many as you want till they sell out, which of course they sold out in 10 minutes, but um, <laughs> but you get those exclusive pieces. Sorry. No, no, you're okay. I'm just on, on Saturday. I don't know what this week will be, but last week it was um, all three EMPs could order them on Saturday. And plus you get the exclusive EMP five pieces later. She specified that later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, and so I, the pieces are awesome. The training was awesome. Misty is always just, Misty and Trent are just dynamite. I just, the, the one thing, one, can I share one thing real quick? Yeah. One thing that Trent taught that just, <laughs> I haven't had a whole lot of sleep. <laughs> and um, I cry all the time anyway. So, <laughs> but the one thing that I love Thank you, Tara. The one thing that I love, love, love was, was Trent said, you know, um, I, you know, I don't have the right inventory. I don't have enough space in my house. I don't have enough money. I don't have, I don't, I don't, I don't. We all have that. We don't have enough time. We don't have this. We don't have that. And there's nowhere to put the jewelry in. I don't have anywhere to sell it. And nobody comes on my lives. And he said, take that nowhere and change it to now here. He said, yesterday's gone. And you don't know, I will, I will profess, you don't know what tomorrow brings. Cause I was at the top of my game selling at these trade shows. I was really successful. And three days later, I was in the hospital with multiple myeloma cancer. And you don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Right now, now here, he said, everybody can figure something out. So quit making excuses. Basically, that's what he's saying. He says, I don't know where, I don't know where, I can't, nowhere, I don't have anything. And he said, just change that to now here. Now here, just a little bit, do a little bit. And that's what I love about all of you that are on here that are just, you don't have to do it all. Just do a little bit, one little thing. And we've heard many of you talk about that, about, in fact, we should go into the winds. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. But, um, oh my gosh, it just made, we got, I got to hug tons and tons of people. I was so excited. And um, many of you there were like, I, we were on the night today. I see you, see you. And so <laughs> I was so grateful when you came up and said hi. And, and thank you for your sweet comments and your sweet hugs. And <laughs> I just love being there amongst everybody it's just so it just helps me be so much better and I just want to be better for you and I hope that I can give you a little bit of that and anytime anytime we can get together anytime there's convention EMP conventions next week comes on sales don't miss that and it's just oh I don't know I just love it I just yeah. love it it's crazy how different in person Oh, things so are versus awesome. yeah. the last what few years of COVID yeah. has done to yeah. us and how much we miss it. So yeah, yeah it's crazy. I think well, that, Robin, that you right. make Robin, you make me want to be better. So oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that reminds me of uh the whole uh I've shared with some of you guys the whole Will Smith story. I read part of his book at the beginning. And he talked about building this wall and how he like, like his dad made him and his brother do it like the slowest, like most like crappy way to do it. And after a year, whether it was rain, shine, whether they had homework, didn't matter. They were out there building that wall. And finally they were like, you know, complaining a little bit. And his dad got pissed at him and just like, Hey, don't worry about the wall. Focus on one brick at a time. And he's like, my job after that was just, I finally got out of my head about it. And all I focused on was laying that brick as perfectly as I could. And so just like focus on one brick at a time, you guys, one brick at a time. Don't worry about the whole wall. 
Don't worry about the whole wall. One brick at a time. And something happens, be a goldfish. We talked about being a goldfish. Forget what happened. Forget what happened. And Gold keep... Chris, goldfish brain is this dude. <laughs> yeah. 10 second memory. Just forget about it and move on. So yeah, awesome. Fun. We get we get to go. Sweet. Well, thank you guys so much. We've been seeing watching you over on Facebook. We love you. Uh saying hi to everybody over there. Uh we got one minute so we can uh, share some wins real quick. And uh just maybe again, just one minute, maybe two, and then we'll go into the, the training for today. And then we'll uh, go from there. Okay. Anybody have any uh, any wins from this last uh, weekend that they would like to share? I will. Yeah. So when you don't think no one's watching you and you're just like doing your lives, like even if I feel like I'm not getting reaching those goals I want to reach I still go live every night so my customers know I'm there mm -hmm. and then I got a notification from <laughs> Facebook that said I had reached 1.3 thousand people this week with mm -hmm. and so even if you don't think people are seeing even though they're not commenting they're still seeing what you're doing they're still your reels and your posts and stuff. So just keep doing that because I was like just shocked. So that's so cool. That's really cool. Thanks for sharing. Big win, Robin. Thank you. Uh yeah, Jamie. Um my win from this weekend was I did um what Robin said on calling um my downline. So a lot of one of them that I just signed on, I have no idea and she lives Five minutes from me and mm -hmm. so I gave her a call and we kind of talked for like 30 minutes just to get to know one another um and then her whole reasoning of why she decided to sign up with me um and then just um planning on when to meet up so I could help her with the app and then also do her kit open so awesome cool that's, that's so awesome cool. so cool so it's cool so much more fun to talk to people and feel their excitement it just is mm -hmm. and i just love it i love it so cool way to go jamie that's cool thanks love for it. sharing thank you okay we good to get going um one thing to real quick a little announcement so this week is obviously emp again okay so we we're <laughs> asking you to be patient with us as we figure out what we're going to do because we're not here wednesday but we're going to figure it out. Okay. So just knowing that everything is figure outable when there's a will, there's a way we're going to figure it out for you guys to make sure we have some training. We might reach out to and ask for some help from some of you from for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'll see what we're going to do. Uh, let's do, let's do tomorrow. Let's just keep going. Okay. Um, anyways, we'll get going into the training today. Cool. Um, so today he talked about, I think this week, maybe this week, but basically really today, he's talking about the idea of how to make product sales, which I know a lot of us are, are kind of know how we want to sell the jewelry. We've been selling the jewelry, going live, different things, but he actually brought a couple different things that was pretty interesting to the table that I think could be on like a high level of things to remember of how we can kind of promote and like talk about benefits of that. Well, to me, the title is benefits of your product. What mm -hmm. are the benefits? I mean, you know, you know, if you're a consultant, you make 225 and blah, blah, blah. But if you're a customer, he's he's talking to the customer mostly right here, correct? Right. So what are the benefits of our jewelry? You know, think about that. What's what's the benefit of this necklace? What's the benefit? A lot. I I do I like, well, it makes you feel good, it makes you feel pretty, it's um gives you self-esteem, it makes you want to stand taller. So I kind of started thinking about some of those things. And he said, list all, list what your products are and, and on a table, do products on one side and then benefits on the other side. Mm -hmm. And do you want to jump in or want me to keep going? Yeah. So he used it. And then he said, what is your hero product? Yeah, he talked about this idea of a hero product. Like, what is the main thing that we sell? And we obviously have tons and tons and tons and tons of different types of jewelry. But it's like what overall what is the main hero he called it he called it a hero or the main product that you sell and he used the example of uh the hero product and complementary products and he said hey mcdonald's what is mcdonald's hero product what are they known for he's like the big mac everyone knows mcdonald's is known for the big mac right 
And what do they sell it with you all the time? Hey, you want fries and a Coke with that? You want fries and a Coke with that? You want fries and a Coke with that? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you want a shake, but fries and a drink. Right, fries and a drink. That's fries just always what like their signature. If you know McDonald's, that you know that they have the Big Mac. I don't even eat Big Macs, and I know that that's what they're used. That's what McDonald's sells, right? And so it's just interesting to be able to know for us in paparazzi, what is our hero products, or what is our hero product, and then what is the complementary or supplementary products that help upsell that product? Okay. So I want to ask you that question. Think about it in your mind, or you can put it in the chat. To me, the hero product is a necklace. I mean, when you think about it, we really have millions of styles, but we have necklace, earring, bracelet, and rings. So to me, the necklace is the one. Now, maybe some people think earrings. You think about it. If you sell a necklace, what do you sell with it? Well, if you love this necklace, you're going to want a heart earring and a heart ring and a heart bracelet. If you sell this, this necklace, you're going to want to make sure you get silver and you're going to want to make sure you, you or maybe you could do a rhinestone. And what are this, the, the three or the other two or three supplements or supports to go along with that? So if I think Big Mac, if I think I have a Big Mac and these are my fries, and my drink that go along with it. And what are the three tips that support those? Mm-hmm. Or, and maybe some people are earrings. Now, if you talk to Brittany, she's gonna say, I pick out earrings and then I find a necklace to match. So tell me in the chat what you think our hero product is in, um, in paparazzi. Do you agree with it being a necklace? Do you think it's, I'm seeing necklace, um, necklace, um, and I'm not talking about, I just saw something on there. I'm not talking about what it's made of or different things. It's the product. Um, I always, Jamie, Jasmine says she always goes to necklace and everything around that. That's what I do. Right. Now it doesn't mean that's right, wrong, good or bad. That's just to me is a necklace. And so I'm going to say today, today. I love this, this heart necklace. It is beautiful. This huge heart ring is just like the Titanic necklace, but it has the diamonds around the outside. And this is the most fantastic, amazing necklace that we have. And I have silver earrings, but I have ruby earrings. I have diamond earrings that are going to match. And you don't want to miss this bracelet and this ring. And you can, these are in pulse that you can, su- that you can um, support this necklace with these extra benefits. Right. And that doesn't mean just like McDonald's, if you go to McDonald's, does that mean you have to always buy a Big Mac fries and a drink every time? No. Does it mean that sometimes people just go and buy the fries sometimes and don't buy the Big Mac and the, and the drink? Or the chicken yeah. sandwich. A- absolutely. <laughs> so this isn't saying, we're not trying to say that you can only focus on the necklace and then these supplementary because there's sometimes that's just, there's the statement of the earrings that it's a big deal and that doesn't have a set, but it's just a way to think about this on a high level what's my main thing that I sell most of the time? Again, this is most of the time. And what are my supplementary or upsells that I usually do? And normally we want to upsell the jewelry. We sell it as a set. And so that's kind of what we're talking about. Okay. So he said that you can go to a place that's called answer the public.com. It's a Google. It's a, it's a website that takes all of the Google questions that are out there and you can ask it a question. So if you can say, um, what did you say? What are the benefits of wearing jewelry? Right. But this this one's chat GPT, but similar. But you can go to chat GP, GPT. Chat GPT. And this is where, when we we're talking about the benefits, this is where this kind of gets in the dare of like, okay, what are the benefits of wearing jewelry? And I've kind of shared this with some of like with you guys before here, but it says, okay, here's, here's fashion here. I mean, I'll, I'm going to just show this to you guys real quick. trying to share the screen. Sorry, hold on. Sorry. Share. Sorry. There we go. Here we go. You guys can see that. Okay. So I just, I just put in, what are the benefits to wearing jewelry? And you guys can kind of set up your own little thing here in chat PTT, chat GPT, and it goes through and answers this for you. So if you don't know what some of the benefits are, it's just like, okay, Hey, fashion wise, Jewelry can be used as a fashion accessory to enhance one's appearance and personal style. Awesome. Hey, you guys come check out this jewelry that I have loved started. I I just started selling that it will enhance your beauty and raise your confidence and do like X, Y, and Z. Okay. 
jewelry. So it just kind of talks about different ways of ideas, even just Googling stuff like, okay, what is the benefits of wearing jewelry for us? What can we talk about here? Okay. Um, and then even what my mom was talking about with the answer was answer the public.com. What's that, that? That's another website that you can go to and ask a question and it gathers all of Google's most asked questions about wearing jewelry and they will give you those answers. Yeah. But so if you want to say, what are the benefits of wearing jewelry? Then you can do ask that question and you have all these yeah. things to answer. You so, don't have to sit and think, what are benefits that we have? Yeah, actually the answer the question, just taking that a little bit further. So what it does is it takes the key words that you can put in like jewelry or even pop rocks, accessories or different things like that. And it asks, and then it brings all the types of main questions that people ask around that keyword. So then you can create content around all of those different questions, because if people are searching it, then they're going to find and what stuff that people are like actually looking for. It's like, okay, if the frequently asked questions is this, I'm going to make content around this, right? So I actually know what, what, like what jewelry people are looking for around jewelry or what paparazzi, jewel, uh, paparazzi accessories. If people are asking questions about that, like, okay, I'm going to address some of these questions with the content I create. Can you pull that back up again? The question. So I can say, um, I can say, um, let's see. Um, hi, you, you could want a story or you can make a video and I could say, hi, I'm Robin Frank. And I want to tell you how, what, what is one, one thing that it says? I put um, tips to wearing jewelry. Yeah. So here's some content piece. And these are just like stuff. Some might apply to it versus not just like, Hey, here's the three main tips that you want to find in wearing jewelry. Um, what was that one? Self-expression can be used to express yourself. Oh, yeah. right up there. Look at this. Um, this is literally going all by itself. There's seven, eight. Here's different pieces of content that you can create around this. I'm just like, hey, could it be, you could talk about your benefits when you're selling the, your jewelry to people, or there could be tips to wearing jewelry, right? So scroll up one little inch right here. So I'm going to say, hi, I'm Robin Frank. And I, I um, want to tell you the, um, why I can self-express myself with my necklace, with my jewelry. And here's my neck. I'm, I'm shooting from the hip here. Sorry. So help me fill it. And so I could say, here's my necklace that is so beautiful and it's lovely. It's a V-neck. It makes me look more slender. But along with that, here's a tip. Tip number one, you can wear a silver necklace or tip number or with silver neck or silver earring with it. Or you could wear a rhinestone earring with it going back to the same. Or here's tip number two, just get a bracelet that will offset this and tie it back to your self-expression or tie it back to your um, emotional value, how this is sentimental to me. This is so sentimental to me. You know that every time I talk about the love life bracelet, I cry and how this accents my number one um, hero piece. And then at the end, give him a hook. If you want to know more about how you can change your life with only a bracelet, message me and say love life or message me and say you know happy year <laughs> any word <laughs> or comment below so we have um this is not rehearsed can you tell hook story <laughs> hook story and offer yep. so the so hook can i go in this a little bit please please, please. so basically <laughs> what we're going to do for the dare i'm going to go into this is the dare what we want to do is create and find some benefits behind wearing jewelry or tips of wearing jewelry that we can try and promote as some content okay so we've kind of talked about this idea of hook story and offer uh before so you want to create a hook of like okay what are three here's three tips of wearing jewelry and why you want to accessorize when you wear jewelry okay that way you're selling why jewelry, why people want to wear jewelry and why you want to accessorize. Hey, here's some benefits. You want to use jewelry because like throughout time, people have used jewelry to enhance their beauty. Here's a quick tip. Here's a quick hack of how to raise your confidence and raise your beauty and, and, and raise uh, your, uh, enhance your beauty today. Okay, let's put on a, a necklace and here's some other things, right? So that's where we talked about why benefits of wearing jewelry or even tips that you can use in these videos, okay? Three is easy to use just three. Obviously there was eight. So you can create two or three different types of content with each one of those. But it's like, okay, what we're gonna do for the dare is we're gonna say, do some sort of live video content, whether that's a story post, a live or a reel around these three benefits or three features. It could be tips or wearing jewelry, something around jewelry, okay? And as you create that, you can either do it in a set of stories. 
So the first story, you're going to do like the hook of like, hey, hey, how's it going? This is Robbie. I just want to jump on here and talk about the three ha uh, three hacks of how to raise your confidence and raise your uh, and enhance your beauty today. Join Done. Me. Yeah, Done. he didn't say anything about the necklace. He just said what it's going to do for you. Raise your confidence and raise your, what was the second one you said? Enhance your beauty. Enhance your beauty. Right. So you're talking about That's some benefits. And then three, go into the three different benefits. Each one of those is a story. Here's one benefit. Here's two benefit. Here's three benefit. And then five, um, do some sort of call to action. If you want to know how to make yourself feel better about this of what I use, message me. Yep. And then video, just like a live, just like we've done lives in the past, like, okay, here's the three things that we're going to talk about, talk about each three of them, and then a call to action at the end. Okay. And then same thing as a reel, do a, five different videos based on the hook, each benefit. Every single time you do a reel, when you combine them all, do a different video angle. So it seems a little bit different and then combine it all together with a little bit of sound if you want. And then as a content piece. So the dare again is make a, a video, put on your story, your reel, yep. um, and make a video about the three things that help me lose weight. The three things that help myself. All about confidence. jewelry, right? About, about, jewelry, about yeah. our product. So yeah. some sort of video format, whether it's a story, a live or a reel around what we talked about with like selling some of the benefits behind our product. So like really taking a step back, what are the benefits behind wearing jewelry? Okay, sweet. How can I use that to promote my product with jewelry and supplemental the supplemental uh, products that we talked about? The earrings, complimentary uh, products, earrings, bracelets, and rings. One last thing that he did say, he said, please become a product of your product. If you're not, if you're selling a weight loss product, you need to be on a weight loss journey. If you're selling self-esteem, you need to be on a self-esteem journey. You need to take them along that journey. They want to watch you. They want to know how it cha has changed my life or your life. So wear your jewelry, tell what it does, how it's changed your life, how you saw so Susie at the store and she complimented your earrings and how it made you feel so good. That's your self-esteem perk. And you don't have to be the expert. A lot right. of times we feel like, oh, we got to like, I got to make sure I've been making the million dollars before I talk to people about it. No, you don't. You don't have to be the expert. You don't have to be the fashion expert. You don't have to be like an expert in anything, right? Uh, what did he say? People's, uh, people's inspiration. What did he say? Do you remember seeing that? People's inspiration, right? Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, inspiration comes from progression. So what that means is people get inspired from your progression. So for an example, if you did go on a weight loss journey, you don't have to be all slim and lean and lose a bunch of weight in order to like talk about your journey and people to be inspired by it. It's like by you checking in every single day or every single week, it's just like, hey, I'm going on this journey and people seeing the progression of what you've made throughout it, that's inspiring to them. It's not just the end result. It's the, it's the transformation that you, that you've, um, that's happened throughout the journey, right? And so that could even be your own transformation and your own journey through paparazzi and what that's done to help you feel beautiful and enhance you and just love what you do. And it could it could be from the product side of things or the sisterhood, just like, hey, I have I have loved doing this because of the people I've met, and I I'm a better person because I've been a part of this. Um, remember, stories sell, facts tell. So you can put out all the facts you want. Yeah, you make 45%, you make $2.25 off each piece. It's um, all that kind of stuff that comes in all these different metals. It comes in shinies and sparklies and great and whatever. But when you tell the story about how when I put this on, it reminds me of cancer and how I need to know to love my life. A bracelet can do that. I can tell you that it's a snap and it can fit everybody and it's universal and it's blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares about that. They care about my journey and my story. Right. So remember to be a product of the product. You got to wear the jewelry. And especially if, even if you just do it when you go live, you know, it's okay. It's just like, like leading them along the way to know because they come because of you. Right. right. Because of you. Exactly. Um, real quick questions. Karen said, can we tie this into the opportunity or does it just need to be about the piece? I think so that's 
you can have both different ones. And it just depends on what you want to focus on, but realize that as you sell the piece as like a product is going to be a different focus than you selling the opportunity. So you can do like benefits around the opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. And create a piece of content around that. Yeah. Or if you're going to try and make it as this, like the selling piece then make the content and the benefits around that. But the reason why, like my mom was saying, is telling a story in a video content way of like a uh, story posts live or, um, the reels, just like my mom was saying, is the idea that we gain more emotional connection through the story rather than just the facts. And he, he used a really cool example of like, if you try and buy your dream house and you just say, hey, here's the pictures, here's the dimensions, cool, do you want to buy it? It's like, well, I'd much rather see like a 3D tour. You want to see it and feel it and want to see everything that's it about rather than just the dimension of the house. And that's kind of like the features. And that's why the story is what sells, not the facts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Question. Any questions out there? We know that was kind of a lot. We're trying to get through it. Um, but this any, was really fun. It's good to my heart today. Any, yeah. any questions out there? Uh, Kim, uh, what was the website again? So there's chat GPT, which is the one that you, it's kind of like a Google, it's kind of like a search engine where you can kind of type in some things and it gives you back answers that might take, just keep trying. Sometimes the, there's so many people have has such a high demand for it. So it's like being like the website is kind of overwhelmed right now, but just keep trying. The other one is answerthepublic.com. That's the one where if you put in some keywords, they'll come back like frequently asked questions or the main questions asked around those key phrases. Okay. Uh, Answerthepublic.com. Yep. All one, obviously it's all one uh, word URL. Yeah. Uh, Robin, yes. Um, I just have a comment on doing the three benefits. Mm -hmm. So I will do that. And then I'm going to make like, I'll put it into a reel and then put that into a story and cover all platforms. Yeah, that's Excellent. a great idea. So. That's a great idea. And when you do this, just like Robin's saying, repurpose that content that if you have it, if you create it on, on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, use it for another platform. So if you have Facebook and Instagram, you can use the exact same content on both. If you have all three and TikTok and use it on that one, if you don't have that yet, just baby steps. Remember what we talked about at the very beginning of the call, baby steps, one brick at a time, one brick at a time until you can kind of use the same piece of content for multiple platforms. Okay. If you're doing the work also, you might as well utilize it in those right. other areas. Right. Excellent. Right. Thanks, Robin. Awesome. Thank you so much, Robin. It's time. Yes. New releases. I'm so proud of you. I love you. I hope to see some of you next week. Um, again, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Robbie, Brittany, nor I will be here. We'll have someone else here. We'll figure it out, though. We're going to we're, we're planning on still doing it at the same times, but we'll, we'll figure it out for you guys. OK. Love you. Kay. guys. Love you. See ya. See ya. Bye bye.